In this video, I'm going to derive the double angle identities. For you to be able to do these, you're going to need to know the sum and difference identities, which were taught in the last unit. If you have those available, you might want to get those out for quick reference. So we're going to start with the sine of 2x equaling 2 sine x cosine x. To start the derivation, I'm going to begin with the left-hand side, sine 2x. Now, I'm going to think of 2x as a sum, x plus x. And I'm going to rewrite this as sine of x plus x. Now I'm going to use the sine of a sum formula, or the sine of a sum identity, learned in the last unit. I'm going to identify a and b, the two angles. And if you recall, the formula is sine of a plus b is the sine of the first times the cosine of the second plus the sine of the second times the cosine of the first. Because these two expressions are exactly the same, we can simply say 2 sine x cosine x. And the derivation is complete. Now we're going to move to the second identity, which is the double angle identity for cosine. Cosine 2x. You'll notice on the list there are three variations. We're going to start with the top one, cosine squared x minus sine squared x. And it's going to begin the same way. So I'll start by writing cosine 2x. And I'm going to think of 2x as a sum of x plus x, giving me cosine of x plus x. Using the cosine of a sum identity from the last unit, we know that we're going to get cosine of the first times cosine of the second minus the sine of the first times the sine of the second. When we multiply something by itself, that's called squaring. So I could write this as cosine squared minus sine squared. And here is that initial variation. Now I'm going to go to the middle variation, which says cosine of 2x equals 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Now to do this variation, I have to get rid of the cosine squared x. So I'm going to start here at variation number 1. And I'm simply going to replace um, the cosine squared using a Pythagorean substitution. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Big blank minus sine squared. I can replace this cosine squared with 1 minus sine squared. Cleaning up the parentheses, I get 1 minus sine squared minus sine squared, which of course is 1 minus 2 sine squared x. And this gives us the second variation for the cosine double angle identity. Let's go to the third variation, which is cosine of 2x equals 2 cosine squared x minus 1. Again, I'm going to start with this, the first variation and segue from there. I need to get rid of this sine squared, though. So once again, I'm going to use a Pythagorean substitution. Try to anticipate what I might replace sine squared with. As some of you may have guessed, I replaced it with 1 minus cosine squared x. Distributing the negative through the parentheses, I end up getting cosine squared x minus 1 plus cosine squared x. And cleaning up a little more, we get 2 cosine squared x minus 1. And that gives us the third variation for the cosine double angle identity. Let's move to the last identity, which is the tangent double angle identity. Tangent 2x is equal to 2 tan x over 1 minus tan squared x. I'll start by writing tangent of 2x. I'll think of 2x as a sum of x plus x. Using the tangent of a sum identity, tangent of the first angle plus the tangent of the second angle all over 1 minus tangent of the first times the tangent of the second, we get, cleaning up the top, we get 2 tan x. And cleaning up the bottom, we get 1 minus tan squared x. So here are the three derivations for the double angle identities, one for sine, three for cosine, and one for tangent. One little quick thing that might help you with the cosine double angle, because there are three of them, um, notice in each presentation, the C comes before S, just like in alphabetical order. So in this variation here, C comes before S. And here there are two things, and S comes last, because it's the second thing in the alphabet. And here where there are two terms, the C comes first. 
So the C is always in the first position and the S is always in the second position. That might help.